everybody. Welcome to Franco Brown class today. Um, my name is Franco Brown and today we'll be teaching about how to cut the upper part of our wedding dress. So we'll be doing the front side today. So I'm going to show you how we're going to cut from the shoulder to get the bust. So I'm cutting the shoulder and the bust part, everything together. Yeah, so we are going. So remember this from Franco Brown. Stay tuned. Let's go have fun. Mm -hmm. My brand sits on my pattern. So I got my measurement here now, you can see. And um, first thing I'm going to take is my length. I'm working with the half cut of 19. Now from this top part here, I'm going to mark where 19 is. Now this 19, I'm going to add extra 1 inch for seam allowance. So that will give me 20. So I'm going to also mask from this edge to 20 and then I'll roll it. So do yours will be back. Now, I folded with the widest part of the body, which is the bust. Remember, we're working on the upside. So I added extra 5 inch allowance to my um, folding. So I'm, I have a very wide folding here. So because it's a bust um, padded area, so I really need a lot of. Um, um, allowance. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark. Remember, we took so that to be where we want the transparent space to be. I don't know if you can just see it like this. From shoulder to top here, where I want my yoke side to start from, I got seven. So I'm going to mark seven here. I'm also going to mark it at the edge. Then roll it together so do yours to be back. So here is from shoulder to top of my bust. Now from here, which is top of my bust, I'm gonna say from top of my bust to under my bust. And top of my bust to under my bust, I need seven. So I'm also gonna mark seven inch here. Another seven inches here. So do yours to be back. So as you can see now, ready labor is here is the top bust, which is from here to top of my bust, from shoulder to top of my bust, which is seven inches I got I got here. Please you have to measure your client. And from this other line, this I got the second line here is top of my bust to under my bust. Remember the way we did the measurement on the packing of the bust, under my bust. This client here is seven inches also. Now this other part remaining is for my waist round. So this that's why you see me labor is top of my bust, under bust and waist strand. So just do yours to be back. Okay. Remember we measure nipple to nipple point. Nipple to nipple point here is eight. So I'm gonna divide eight into two, which is gonna give me four inch. We measure nipple to nipple point. And nipple to nipple point is um uh, eight. So 8 divided by 2 gives me 4. So that's how I got this space here. I just marked the 4 from this folded edge. I marked 4, 4 down, 4 down. So I roll it across. So that's how I got this space here. By the time I open it, it's going to be 8 yeah. inches. So the next part I'm going to do, remember, I'm going to try to look for where our nipple point is. Now from here to here, remember, here is top of our bust and here is under our bust. And our nipple point is 4 inch. So I'm just going to mark it here. From here to here, I'm going to mark 4 inch. Please, try to zoom it. So I'm going to mark 4 inch here. Yes, I'm marking this 4 inch here to make me understand that this is my bust point. So this is my bust point, which is my nipple point here. So that's why I did it. So just do your to be back. Now, after getting this, we are going to put our measurement now. So, before they remember this is from Franco Brown class, um, stay with us, we'll be back. Alright, welcome back. So, from this up here now, I'll be working from this, my top of bust, to under bust, and to my waistline, before I'll come across the shoulder part. Now, from this part here, from this line you're seeing here, which is from this, my fourth, this very line, I'm going to subtract one inch from the top. So, from here now, I'm going to mark one inch in. 
can you see so i'm going to mark one inch in like this now from the down here i'm also going to mark one inch in just like what i did one inch in now I'm going to connect it with my ruler from here to here, from here to here. So it's going to be like this now. And then I'm connecting it please to the one inch mark hole. So I don't know if you can actually see it. So I just connected this one inch I took in and this one inch here. I connected it together. I try to use my curve part in my ruler because I don't want that mm -hmm. part. But if you don't have the curve um, part, all you need to do is curve it with your hands. Then from this down part here, I'm going to connect this one inch and make it slant just like this. Just like this. So do you have to be back? Now we're done with this part. As you can see it now, you can already see the curve shape. Now let's work from this other part. This other part is the other side. Here is the middle of the fabric, please. Any folded edge is the middle of the fabric. So this is the side. From here now, this very top. Remember, we took one inch here. Here I'm going to remove one and half from my middle line. I'm going to mark one and half, and also do the same to the down part one and half then connect with a ruler so i'm going to connect a ruler to meet my boss point i'm also going to connect it like this too so for those of you that don't have ruler you can just use your hand like this i don't know if you can see what i'm doing so it's just like this and then so this part we're still going to make a slant just like what we did on the previous one so i don't know if it's clear so this from here to here is one and a half from here to here is one and a half from this other middle part from here to here is one inch from here to here is one inch all you just need to do is connect both lines like this to the waist round no now to get this other part what you are just going to do is extend this your very line to the top just like this please remember this video is from franca brown feel free to ask any question when you don't understand that's it so this is it you can see it now Mm. I, I want to slant here a little bit. I think it's too. Okay. Is that my my hand? Oh, I stretch it out better. So this is it. The next thing is just to cut according to the shape. Now with this one now, all you just need to do is place it on your fabric. After cutting, and then you are good to go. I'm just cutting it according to my shape. So, this is one part. I'm just trying to be careful with my mm -hmm. So I'm also going to cut this one too according to the shape also. So just do yours to the back. I see this is it. 
by the time we join it together we're going to see this part will just pop out so i'm going to join this whole part together first before i'm going to cut out my neck my arm oh whatever whatever so i'm going to join this pattern first but i'm not going to join this um pattern i'm going to place this one on my fabric and cut first so i'm going to cut it on the um satin just like this i just place it and then cut place it and then cut so that is that thank you so much